Hey everyone, and welcome to our most recent Sunningdale School News video. In this video, I'm going to go over the updated operating procedures and risk assessments for COVID-19. We're going to check in with some of the learners from our semi-formal play pathway. We're going to hear about the new school building and look at some footage of the steel signing event where pupils visited the site and signed some of the steel beams. We're going to check in with a member of staff who's been doing some fundraising. We're going to meet some new staff. I'm going to wish good luck to a friend of the school who's gone and got themselves a new position. And I'm going to share a range of dates to do with the events happening over December and the Christmas period. The DfE have produced updated guidance for schools and their operating procedures during December. The school's updated risk assessment can be found on the school's homepage on our website. It's at the bottom of the page and if you scroll to the bottom of the page, you will be able to find the full risk assessment there. In terms of our current operating procedures in school, there aren't massive changes to be made. School already had in place a number of the measures that are now being recommended for all schools across the country. We've continued to wear masks in communal areas. Weekly fogging of the building has continued to take place. Hygiene procedures and processes around cleaning have been very tight and we have maintained those throughout the entire pandemic. We're still asking that where pupils exhibit any of the symptoms of COVID-19, that families do secure a PCR test and wait for the result before sending their child into school. This is really important because we do have a high percentage of pupils in school who are very vulnerable and have a number of cardiac and respiratory conditions. Where pupils do come to school exhibiting any of the symptoms of COVID-19, we will isolate those pupils and ask parents to collect them and take them for testing. We really hope you can support us with this because we've been very lucky so far the number of cases we've had in school are very, very low and we've managed to contain what cases we have had. The most effective way for us to support families during this time is to remain as fully open as possible. And this is only possible as long as we do carefully control the spread of the virus in and around the building. One of the minor changes that we have made as a result of updated guidance is that we're now asking all visitors, parents, carers and taxi drivers and escorts to wear masks when they're picking up and dropping off on the school site. One of the other minor changes we've made is also to restrict the types of visitors to the school site. We are now only allowing essential visitors as well as specialists and therapists to work with the children. As many of you will be aware, since September we've had in place our new curriculum pathways. These have been really, really successful and today we're just going to check in very briefly with the Eagles class in the semi-formal play pathway. Here they are in their new approach working independently in class. absolutely fantastic to see the changes that we've made to the curriculum having an impact so early in the school year. We're really proud of how it's going and can't wait to see the impact by the end of the year. In future videos we'll also be checking in with the staff and pupils working in the pre-formal pathway and the semi-formal explore pathway. We're just going to check in now with Autumn, one of our members of staff that works in our semi-formal play pathway. Back in September Orton did something fantastic for the school. 
when she ran the Great North Run in order to raise money for Sunningdale. Now, whilst the Great North Run was a couple of months ago now, I'm gonna put the link to Autumn's Just Giving page in the description below, so that anybody who wants to can comment and donate to what was a fantastic gesture from Autumn. Earlier in November, staff and pupils were invited by Kia to take part in a steel signing event at the new school building site. A group of staff and pupils were joined by councillor Louise Farthing, who's the Sunderland Council Cabinet Member for Children, Education and Skills. At the event, pupils had the opportunity to sign the steel frame girders that make up the structure of the building. This was accompanied by an opportunity to tour the building, and as you can see from the footage here, it's an absolutely amazing structure that's going up extremely quickly. We're told that by Christmas, the structure will have walls and windows, and early in the new year, the internal fixtures and fittings will start to go into place. There's been a whole series of meetings in school where we've been deciding everything from the finishes on the walls and floors, right through to door locks and signage that will be used throughout the school. hoping that in the new year all of our pupils will get a chance to visit the site and acquaint themselves with our new school building. In December's news video towards the end of the term we're going to be introducing a whole range of new staff but in today's video we're going to introduce one member of staff in particular and this is Michelle who now works in the school Hi. office. Many of you have probably already met Michelle on the phone already but if you do manage to pop into school please say hello to Michelle and welcome her into the Sunningdale family. In wider news, we'd like to really congratulate Bridget Phillipson, who's our local MP and a friend of the school, in her appointment as the Shadow Secretary of State for Education. Bridget's been into school a few times to have a chat with us and look around the school and meet staff and pupils. And it's absolutely amazing that somebody who understands our school and cares about our community has been appointed to such an important position. Okay, last but not least, I just want to go over some important dates and events that are going to take place over December related to Christmas. From Monday the 6th of December, there'll be a range of activities taking place in classrooms. Things such as making cards, calendars, presents and decorations. Alongside this will be the recording of our pre-recorded Christmas performance. On Wednesday the 8th of December, our Early Years Foundation Stage class, the Cubs, and our pre-formal classes will be having their Christmas party. On Thursday the 9th of December, our semi-formal Explore classes will be having their Christmas party. On Thursday the 9th of December, our semi-formal Explore classes will be having their Christmas party. On Friday the 10th of December, our semi-formal Play classes will be having their Christmas party. And this will also be our official Charity Christmas Jumper Day. On this day, we would ask that all staff and pupils wear Christmas jumpers and pay a small donation to go to charity. Our charity this year will be Save the Children. To 
Despite Friday the 10th being our official Christmas jumper day, we would like to encourage people to wear Christmas jumpers right through December and the last three weeks of term. On the week beginning Monday the 13th of December, all of our pathways will be having their Christmas lunch. On Monday the 13th of December, the Early Years Foundation Stage class, the Cubs and the Pre-Formal Pathway will be having their Christmas lunch. On Tuesday the 14th of December, the Semi-Formal Explore Pathway classes will be having their Christmas lunch. And on Wednesday the 15th of December, the Semi-Formal Play classes will be having their Christmas lunch. On the afternoon of Wednesday the 15th of December, classes will also be taking part in the Big Sing YouTube event. Thursday the 16th of December, we're really lucky that the Special Lioness Group have worked really closely with us to organise a pantomime for all children in school. On Friday the 17th of December, we will be live streaming via Zoom our pre-recorded Christmas performance. More details regarding this will be sent out nearer to the time. We're really looking forward to all these fantastic Christmas events and we're going to try really hard to share as much of this as possible across Evidence Me, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Well that's it for today's news video, we'll see you all in the final news video of the term which will come out when we break up for Christmas on the 17th of December.